Now just put your finger uh, over that part of it. Yeah, something like that where they're still a little bit lower. I really like the idea of making an exhibition based on the face because uh, it probably would have never occurred to me, but it's the most obvious thing in my work. Yeah, like that. I remembered one of the first things about the face that really interested me, which was uh, that, you know, the, the sort of disconnection between the body and, and the mind, the intellect and the uh, unconscious and the physicality below, you know, so there's always been that kind of dynamic uh, interest in my work starting out early on with the notion of uh, you know the cinematic head which I was fascinated by because it it somehow seemed that you know historically the birth of cinema um, and the introduction of editing and the mediation of the of the body and uh, immediately separated the head from the body Wow, that's pretty great. Lisi, you got to check this out from here. You know, the face, let's see, divided up like into when I first started projecting in the early 90s was the, you know, the, some of what I was talking about before related to cinema and so forth and, uh, and installation space changed quite a bit when I started projecting projection of faces, kind of anthropomorphizing dummies and dolls was um, very related to a, an exploration of empathy between the viewer and the artwork and setting up a kind of uh, almost a psychological trap in the artwork. So the viewer would have to reject or ignore or take some sort of position and that's what I was interested in um, thinking about almost like a psychology test the dolls or the the figures were testing the audience in one way or another harassing them asking them questions stuck in certain positions which were kind of either uh, you know kind of faux traps or actual traps. But it's pretty good, it, like really dramatic, you know, shrinking down. It's a pretty optical effect. Oh yeah, see, it's better like this. Satan's Daughter brings together two elements, uh, a kind of domesticated space shown in shorthand, a kind of turned over uh, easy chair, maybe from somebody's living room. And the character is sort of hidden under it, but also kind of harassing the, the people as they pass by. That specific piece was also based on a lot of reading I was doing about uh, multiple personality disorder. And uh, it, the shorthand for that is MPD, which is a kind of a, a popularly developed mental illness. And one of the reasons I was so interested in that was that it, it had a kind of media arc and it was sort of invented by people. It was never really a, uh, a, a medically accepted thing, multiple personality disorder, and they, a lot of people believe that it was inspired by technology, by films and television, and it became a kind of viral, for lack of a better word, a viral uh, sociological phenomenon that people develop these different personalities. So let's just take one walk from the beginning right through and see what we think. You see that first, but then you're going to think about that because there'll be some little kid over here looking at it <laughs> so then you go like this and then you'll see this one 
each body of work that I do kind of comes out of a theory, uh, for lack of a better word, I don't really like the idea of theory, but it's a kind of exploration of ideas of, that I research. So, and that's where the writing comes from and the, the actual sculptural forms. I try to sort of work them all together. So, the dolls and the dummies uh, came from that kind of e exploration. And so, you know, I was trying to work with a very specific kind of sculptural element, something that felt soft and homemade and that wasn't a kind of hierarchy of like great sculptural object, you know, it was something that you could just find and was easily, uh, would allow you to imagine uh, these domestic scenarios. And so, but every five years or couple of years, I, I'll get onto a different set of ideas, you know, or sometimes it's just for a project. And uh, in this exhibition, there'll be different uses of, of language and, and video that each one has a kind of uh, story behind it, you know.